mean, when I left that hospital, me and Pac was laughing and choking. So I don't see how somebody can turn from doing well to doing bad. So you and seriously think that he might still be alive? I'm gonna tell you this, Pac, you never know. So he he was conscious on the way to the hospital? <laughs> he was conscious on the way to the hospital, he was conscious in the ambulance, he was conscious after, uh, after they did the surgery. What was the last thing that he said to you? They love me. Rappers are continuing to leave more and more hints towards Tupac still being alive in 2023. Now here's what you need to know. Tupac had his life taken back in 1996. However, the suspect was never found including a lot of evidence that was mysteriously lost in the process of court filings. This has led many to believe that the rapper is still alive out there somewhere. Many believe that Tupac faked his passing in order to escape the war between East and West Coast rap. To understand everything, we need to dive deeper into the original story as to how Tupac passed away. According to reports, on September 7th, 1996, Tupac was in Vegas with the head of his record label known as Suge Knight. They went to the MGM Grand to watch a Mike Tyson match, and after it was over, they spotted an op in the lobby of MGM. Now at the scene, another friend of theirs was with them. He was known as Trey, as Trey had apparently spotted a member of the Seas that goes by the name of Baby Lane. When he noticed Baby Lane, he tried to warn Tupac. Tupac supposedly then went up to Baby Lane and asked him if he was from the South. Baby Lane would then tell Tupac that he is, and then immediately Tupac would then swing against Baby Lane, causing a massive scene in the middle of the lobby, leading to security coming and breaking the two up. Now, Tupac and Suge Knight would then go back to their hotel to change their clothing, and then the two went off to a club to go party it up. Around 11 p.m., the two were pulled over for bumping their music too loud and driving without a license plate. However, their plates were actually located in the trunk of their vehicle, and as they put the license plates back on, a few minutes later, a Cadillac would then stop by, where a man located in the back seat would roll his window down, lean out of the window, and start using a firearm to towards Tupac and Suge Knight's vehicle. Now, Tupac was hit multiple times as well as Suge Knight. Suge Knight was able to drive off about a mile before getting pulled over again, to which the cops would actually rush them to a local hospital. At this moment, Tupac was now in critical condition. The doctor had to put him into a coma to stop it from getting any worse. Tupac stayed in the hospital for a very long time. Suge Knight, he was released earlier as not much damage had been done to him as he was in a lucky spot inside of the vehicle. And then, about a week later on September 13th, we would hear Tupac allegedly passing from a heart attack after his lung had been affected during the incident. But oddly enough, the case was actually never solved till this day. Many believe the cops just didn't care enough to investigate on who was behind the entire scheme. But fans immediately started connecting the dots, and they believe that the notorious B.I.G. was the man behind the hit, as Biggie Smalls has been accused of going after after Tupac in the past. Now this all started in 1994, when Tupac had gone to a studio to record a verse, and three guys would then go after him in the lobby, using firearms towards Tupac, as well as snatching his golden chains. Now coincidentally, Biggie and his crew were in the exact same studio when it all happened, but Biggie tried to cover it up, saying it was all a coincidence, and that he had nothing to do with any of it. But according to rumors, the story does not end there. Ever since it was declared that Tupac passed in 1996, theories about him faking his passing and still being alive was starting to rise all over the internet and news, as well as interviews with Suge Knight, as Tupac was apparently doing fine in the hospital right before his passing, stating, I mean, when I left the hospital, me and Pac were laughing and joking, so I don't see how somebody can turn from doing so well to so bad. But what's weird about this is that Tupac was supposedly in a coma. So how in the world could he and Suge Knight be laughing if Tupac was unconscious? Now that does not seem to add up. But then again, in 2018, Suge Knight's 
son would take to Instagram to state that Tupac was still alive and living in Malaysia. And then Suge Knight Jr. would go on to post this. Another photo to his Instagram showing a text conversation where someone says, you said too much, it's time for you to go. Then Suge Knight's son posted another group of photos of Tupac with modern day celebrities such as 50 Cent and Beyonce. He made it seem like someone was after Suge Jr. for leaking all of this info. On the pic with Tupac and Beyonce, he captioned it stating, he never left us, but they'll be after me soon. While some believe this was all a publicity stunt for Suge Knight's son to gain clout online, others believe that this was all factual and that Suge Knight Jr. would be the one to know more about this case than anyone else in the world, considering his father was right there on the scene beside Tupac. Now back in 2014, this is where Suge Knight would tell TMZ that Tupac was alive and well. I mean, when I left that hospital, me and Pac was laughing and joking. So I don't see how somebody can turn from doing well to doing bad. So you and seriously think that he might still be alive? In six months after Suge Knight leaked this information to TMZ, he almost lost his life at a nightclub when a man went after him six times with a firearm. However, Suge Knight was hesitant to tell the police anything, but many believe that it was all connected to him talking about Tupac to TMZ, which is weirdly similar to a 2010 interview with a rapper named Tretch, as he was interviewed with the topic of Tupac before a show. Tretch and Tupac were close homies back in the day, even working on a couple of albums together. But here's where things get very interesting. After Tretch's interview, the cameraman forgets to stop recording. He then puts his camera on the floor, and in the footage, you can hear the interviewer asking Tretch about Tupac, to which Tretch would respond as followed. So if you ain't ready for it, get on the sidewalk. <laughs> Now, Tupac being alive in Cuba is most likely the most popular theory to this day. His aunt has been living in Cuba since 1994, and after she was convicted of taking someone's life in the USA, she had to escape. And then in 2018, a website called Reposters posted a photo of Tupac allegedly with Rihanna in Cuba. Now, some say this picture is fake. Many fans also believe it's real. In fact, the Cuba theory has become so popular that famous rapper Kendrick Lamar even references it in his track titled Element, where he raps the words, Mr. One through five, that's the only logic. Fake my passing, go to Cuba. That's the only option. Now, this would even lead to Eminem making a song about it too during one of his freestyles, where he would say, a lot of talk and rumors on us. Who's the hottest? To be honest, hip hop ain't been the same since Tupac moved to Cuba on us. Then back in the 2000s, a video would be released released mysteriously on a website and showed Tupac supposedly chilling in a parking lot. And if you still aren't convinced that Tupac could still be alive, in 2012, Suge Knight also said the situation with Tupac's body was very sketchy, as Knight went on a radio show to state, and I quote, Maybe the question is, Pac's really not gone, but Pac is just somewhere else. Knight said, live on the air, nobody's seen Tupac's body. The person who supposedly cremated Tupac, this guy got about $3 million, personally from me, in cash. And the next thing I know, I never heard from the guy or I never even seen him again. He retired and he left. And then another very strange detail was on the official report following Tupac's passing was allegedly that Tupac was listed as 215 pounds. Now, Tupac was a very slim dude. He was five foot nine. Most sources say he actually weighed around 160 pounds. Now, a report being off this much is definitely suspicious. Then following that, an entire movie documentary was released in which details of the fact that Tupac is still alive. 
but now the filmmaker Rick Boss got straight to the point, talking about how Tupac escaped from Vegas in a helicopter. According to him, Tupac knew somebody was going to try to do this to him. So he ordered a helicopter to rescue him. Tupac then used a body double to fake his passing and the world would believe he was not alive. And then finally, possibly the wildest theory about Tupac is that he planned everything that went down, leaving clues for his fans to find. Strangely enough, right before this happened, Tupac had started going by the name Machiavelli, which was a tribute to an Italian philosopher named Nicola. And this is all without even mentioning that Tupac would actually leave many clues in his album about sadly passing. This would leave many to believe that everything was planned. And if you do believe that as well, let us know in the comments on what you truly believe happened to Tupac.